Today we are covering how to upload and install the Divi theme from ElegantThemes.com. If you don't already have this theme, I definitely recommend having it for your WordPress website. It is an incredible, integrated, and responsive theme. You can find it at ElegantThemes.com. If you don't already have an account with Elegant Themes, although their prices may vary and change over time, you can generally at this time get an account with them for $89 and get all of their packages and all of their themes. Although today, the theme that we are covering is the Divi theme, which is my number one recommended theme as of today. So go ahead and head over to elegantthemes.com and once you get an account with them, or if you already have an account, go ahead and log in. You can click on the login button all the way at the top navigation bar and you'll get to the members area. You're already on the right tab on the themes, so you go ahead and scroll down plus the plugins and the welcome message. You'll find the Divi theme at the very top. Again, this might change, but for right now, this is really convenient as you can find the Divi theme at the very top of the themes downloads list. What you're going to do next is you're going to click on the download button. If you want to go ahead and preview it, that's perfectly fine. Make sure this is the right theme for you and to make sure it's going to be able to have all the features that you need, which I'm pretty positive it will because the Divi theme is fantastic in my opinion. If you want to check it out and review it and go ahead and find the preview button, this is what you'll come to and you'll be able to see all of the wonderful features that you can find on Divi. And I will be covering those in this video, but towards the end so that if you just want to know how to upload it, I can show you that right off the bat and then you can move forward. So go ahead and head back to the Elegant Themes page, go to the Divi icon and click download. You will come up with a couple of different options. What you're going to want to click on is the current. Again, this may change because they do up they do change and upgrade and add new features quite often so if you want to get the Divi theme just click the one that is the current theme it will automatically download it for you depending on what browser you're on your download may go to a different place I am currently on Safari and so I find my downloads right up here at the top which is really easy and integrated all you're going to do is you're going to save this file what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna drag and drop it onto my desktop just so that you can see it really easily. Next, what you're gonna do is you're gonna head over to your WordPress website and you're gonna go to appearance and then you'll find a little drop down menu and go to themes. I'm already here and as you can see, I already have the Divi theme uploaded to my website. What you're going to do though is you're going to go to add new under the theme section and you're going to click on upload theme. Here are all the themes that WordPress already gives you and you can find very easily, but because we're getting one from Elegant Themes, which is a separate third party theme builder, we're going to go here, upload themes. Next, what we're going to do is you can't just simply upload the Divi theme file. This just gives you all of the different content of that file and when you're uploading the theme, it doesn't really it's not able to upload it in that format. So what you're going to do is you're gonna right click, or for me, I'm on a Mac, I'm going to click with two fingers and go down to compress Divi. And what that will do is it'll turn it into a zip file folder for you, which is really great because then all you have to do is grab it, drag and drop onto choose file and it will automatically upload it for you on your on your page that you have open on your WordPress. Or if that's not working for you, for some reason you can click on choose file and find it that way. Next, we're gonna click on install now. And what you'll find, because I already have the theme installed onto my website, it will say unpacking, unpacking the package, installing the theme, but instead of saying destination folder already exists and the install failed, you should see that it was accepted and that it was a success. And then you will find a couple of buttons that will say activate now, preview theme, and another option. What you're going to click on is activate now and it will show right here as a link. Once you click that, you will be able to activate your theme that is already on your website and it'll show up as here and it'll say that your theme is active and then you can head over to your site by going up to the top left hand corner and clicking on visit site. What it will do is it will take you to your main page and the view is what you'll see that everyone else sees when they go to your website. You'll find that the Divi theme is really incredible. What I'm going to go over now real quick is just some of the features. Some of the incredible features of Divi is that first of all, it's responsive, which means that it integrates and changes to whatever the size of the page is on, making it so that you can see your page on any different size device, whether that's mobile or a desktop and anything in between. 
Some other features is the drag and drop feature, which is one of the things that I absolutely love. As a web designer, I create quite a few websites for my clients and I love this theme. It's one of my number one choices. And unless they need some other needs for their website, this is actually my go-to theme that I use for almost every single client I use. The reason I do that is because I can change it and customize it however I need to for my client. And almost every website that I create even though the client's needs are incredibly different and they want different design features, I build it with the exact same theme and they look entirely different. So go ahead and check out the Divi theme. If you haven't already decided to use it, I definitely recommend it. Otherwise, there's the information on how to upload the theme to your WordPress website. I hope that this was helpful and I hope that you keep killing it and have a fantastic day. See ya.